In this video, I'm showing you an easy 10 minute meal, my go-to meal, it's low fat and delicious. In part two, I'm gonna be showing you how I plate it. So make sure you're watching that video right after this one. So first of all, I put some water in the pan and then I'm adding some mango and some sweet peppers. I used yellow and orange. Now this is a sped up video, but it ex took exactly 10 minutes. So I'm adding some red onion. I'm just using what was left over in my fridge. And in back, if you see me adding water and stirring something, it's some broccoli that I was cooking. I just wanna say right here, if you've liked this channel and what you're seeing so far, please subscribe and give this video a like if you found it helpful. Now I am just stirring up and separating, sauteing in water. <laughs> I wish things moved this fast in real life. <laughs> So now I am sauteing again, it's cooking, it's getting softened. I had this on about medium heat and I just kept adding some water and that's just my purified water. And you see it's starting to get softened and done adding some orange juice because I love orange juice. I like to add a little bit of that, that citrus flavor. Now the rice. Now this is my leftover rice. If you follow me on Instagram, this is the rice you saw in the last two dishes. This was two days worth of rice and I just wanted to use it up and I decided to make this recipe. Adding a little bit more water. So this is a great way to use your leftover rice. Make a stir fried rice dish. Now it probably takes less than 10 minutes because like I said, this is a sped up version, but I wanted you to see exactly how long this took in real time. So I'm just whacking the rice because <laughs> I'm trying to get it totally loosened because I want it to really be cooked. And this is jasmine rice and also basmati rice. One day I had used jasmine, another day I had used basmati. And now I'm adding some teriyaki sauce. So good, one tablespoon. Now that adds a lot of flavor. So make sure you always have your teriyaki sauce. I have a link below. And I'm adding some maple syrup. I love maple syrup. You don't have to add this, but it just gives a tiny bit of sweetness. But remember the mango is already making it sweet, so it's up to you. And it tasted delicious. Adding a little bit more teriyaki sauce. And this is pretty much done. Before I turned off the camera, it is at 10 minutes and 28 seconds. So in 10 minutes, you can have a quick meal. Less than 10 minutes because I walked around a couple times. So you're gonna see this in an edited version, but in less than 10 minutes, you can have a quick meal. And stay tuned for part two where I plate the meal. It's coming up right after this. If you'd like to see this, I'm doing a series of 10 minute to go meals. So make sure you don't miss that and make sure you subscribe and have a great day and watch part two.